you need to convert if they have given in a percentage you should convert to a decimal dividing throughout by 100 half a yearly means in a year you are going to have two times of that one so therefore multiply the years by two and the rate of interest divided by two they've asked you to have a compound interest so you need to remember the formula of a simple interest component interest chapter i want an means what i should do applying log on both the side according to logarithms Hello dear students, a warm welcome to one and all. My name is Vibha, Mathematics Faculty at Vidyashram Pre-University College, the Temple of Excellence in Mysuru. Dear students, in today's session, that is session number one we are going to have and here we are going to have a chapter number nine according to your NCRT textbook called Anitius. What do you mean by this anitues? And what are all the topics we are going to study under this anitues is nothing but introduction. So introduction to the entity and then a problems on future value of the entity immediate. Now we'll move on to what do you mean by the entity especially. Now your meaning and definition of entity goes like this. See an entity is a fixed sum paid at regular intervals of time under certain conditions. So it is a fixed sum. That means it is a fixed amount. It will be paid according to the uh, regular intervals under some conditions. It may be as LIC premiums. It may be as loan div. Okay. So like that. So these equal intervals may be either quarterly or yearly or half a yearly or monthly. You can pay it. Now here, if nothing is mentioned about the interval of the time, it is always taken as one year. Suppose if they have not mentioned any interval of the time, so it is taken as automatically one year. Per year, you are going to pay that, okay? So for example, repayment installment of the loan, okay? LIC premiums, as I told you, deposits into a recurring account, etc. So recurring account means monthly, monthly you are going to deposit or and then LIC premiums yearly once you can and then you are going to have loan installment means it will be for monthly once you are going to pay it as isn't it that is going to be known as annuity what are all the types of annuity you are going to have under this so types of annuity will go like this annuity immediate that means it depends on the a uh, time of the payments okay there are two kinds of annuity actually one is annuity immediate another one is annuity due so here annuity immediate means if the payments are made at the end of the each interval of the time this is important at the end of the each interval of time then the entity is going to be called as entity immediate understood so if nothing is mentioned then the entity is considered as entity immediate suppose in the problem if they have not mentioned whether it is an entity due or whether it is an entity immediate it is considered as entity immediate only now, what do you mean by annuity due? If the payments are made at the beginning itself, okay, beginning itself, each time of the interval, then the annuity is going to be called as annuity due. So after what is that? The end of the interval of the time, it is going to be known as annuity immediate. Before only it, if it is paid means it is going to be known as annuity due. That is the difference, okay? So next we'll be moving on to what is called as a, a present value of an annuity. That means some terms related to an annuity we are going to study under this. So a present value of an annuity says that it is a sum of the present values of all the installment. Suppose if you are paying monthly, so sum of all the installments you are going to have it as the present value of the annuity. And then in simple words, if the lump sum amount, that means together, if the lump sum amount is obtained before the annuity is paid later, the lump sum amount is called the present value of the annuity. Today value is called as the present value. Whatever you are going to pay the lump sum amount, it is going to be known as the a present value of the entity. That means today you are going to pay, it is going to be known as a present value. And that's it. Next we'll be moving on to the future value of the entity. Okay. At present, what you are going to pay today, future value of the entity means it is a sum of the future values of all the instruments 
installment in the simple words the lump sum amount is obtained at the end at the end if it is going to obtain the lump sum amount then it is going to be known as the future value of the annuity and uh, annuity is paid before then lump sum amount is called the future value okay so here it is denoted by the letter f you are going to have so here example lic policy at last you are going to after 10 years after 15 years after 25 years lump sum amount you are going to get it as and then rd that means you are going to have rd account means a recurring deposit if you are going to pay recurring deposit it will be more than two year or three year or four year five year like that it will go it cannot be paid one month and taken back it should be like at the end you are going to take after three year one year two year like that that is called recurring deposit so next you are going to have what do you mean by actually the annuity annuity means the equal amount of a money is called the annuity whatever the money you are going to take it as or whatever you, you are going to deposit the equal amount of a money is going to be known as the annuity it is denoted by the letter a that is especially a small letter a dears okay now we'll be moving on to how we can calculate the annuity of the future value that especially annuity immediate of the future value here formula goes like this dears a future value f is given by so f is given by a into 1 plus i whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by i or you can write it as f will be is equal to a into 1 plus r whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by r. This is also you can calculate what as replacing i by r. Where here f is called as the future value. A is going to be known as annuity or equal installment you are going to pay. And i is nothing but or r is nothing but the rate of interest in decimal. So you need to convert if they have given in a percentage you should convert to a decimal dividing through by 100 okay so next n is nothing but the number of installment you are going to pay understood so this formula you need to remember either this or this you can remember where r is nothing but the rate of interest here they have taken i can name it also r that one small letter r understood so we'll move on to now a calculating or what is that solving the problem dear students what they've asked a company needs, here we'll be moving on to directly the 5 marker question. No 2 marker, 3 marker will be there. At last you are going to have 2 marker and 3 marker from this chapter. In future value of the annuity immediate and the present value of the annuity immediate, you do not have the uh, 3 marker and 2 marker, just 5 marker problems directly. Now here a company needs 1,50,000 at the end of the 10 years from now. It would like to set aside of an equal amount each year from its profit. If the present market rate is 15%, how much should be the annual amount to be invested? What is the annual amount to, to be invested they have asked. So what they have given here students. They have given a company needs 1,50,000 so at the end of the year means it is nothing but considered as future. Correct now. So therefore if yes, they have given 1,50,000 and then at the rate of n they have given number of years it is nothing but 10 years. And R is nothing but or I is nothing but 15 percentage that you are going to convert to a divide throughout by 100. So you are going to have 0 0.15. Now if nothing is given about the annuity it is considered as automatically annuity immediate. So what is the formula for annuity immediate? Just now we have learnt it is given by F is equals to A into 1 plus 1 plus r whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by r. Now NET is nothing but NET immediate a. So we don't know that we need to calculate that only here. They have given already what is the future value that is 1,50,000 and they have given number of years. Let me substitute in the formula. So f is 1,50,000 which will be is equal to a we don't know as it is 
Now, 1 plus R is nothing but 0 0.15 whole to the power of n is 10 minus 1 divided by r is 0 0.15. Now cross multiplying this you are going to get 1,50,000 into 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.15 is 1.15 whole to the power of 10 minus 1 is equal to a as it is I am going to keep it. Now you come to know how I have written uh, just cross multiply and this will come to the denominator. Here I have added 1 plus 0 0.15 as 1.15 whole to the power of n. That is nothing but 10 minus 1 as it is I have written a as it is I have got. So after calculating this you are going to get it as 22,500 divided by this will be is equal to 4.045 minus 1 which will be equal to 22,500 divided by this is 3.045. If you minus 1 there from 4.045 you are going to get 3.045. So after calculating this you are going to get 7389.16 therefore the amount to be invested is what this is the amount to be invested the amount to be invested per year right to be invested per year to get 150000 after 10 years understood I hope you got this problem how to calculate. Now we'll move on to the next problem dears. What they've asked. Find the future value of the annuity 5000 at 12% per annum for 6 years. Now here they have asked you to directly to find out the future value. So yeah annuity they are paying 5000. At 12% per annum, that means R is equal to 12% for how many years? N is equal to 6 years. Therefore, they have given A is equals to 5000 and R is equal to 12% which can be converted as 0 0.12 dividing throughout by 100 and then N is equal to they have given 6 years. So we don't know what is a future value we need to calculate. Now future value is given by the formula A into 1 plus R whole to the power of N minus 1 divided by R. Now after substituting the value of A, R, N. So we will be getting the future value here as like which is F will be is equal to A is 5000 into 1 plus r is nothing but 0 0.12 whole to the power of n is 6 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12. Now f will be is equal to 5000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 is 1.12 whole to the power of 6 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12. So here after calculating you are going to get 5000 into this will be is equal to 1.973822 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12 which will be equal to 5000 into after minusing 1 you are going to get 0 0.973822 divided by 0 0.12 so after evaluating this in a calculator, you are going to get the answer is 40,575.94. So this is the future value amount you are going to get after 6 years paying 5000 as an annuity immediate and then you are going to have 12% of the rate of interest per annum. Understood? I hope you got this problem. We'll move on to the next one, dears. Mr. Ashok has 20 more years to retire. He decides to save some money for his retirement. If he pays 79,000 per year, how much will have when he retires 
if the interest rate is 18% per annum. Now here we need to calculate what as I was reading the question you came to know he is going to have a retirement after 20 years means it will be the future calculation. Therefore, you need to calculate here future and then he is going to pay a 79,000 per year. That means the annuity he is going to pay it as 79,000 then installment every year after 20 more years means n should be equal to 20. How many percent per year he is getting r is equal to 18 percentage. So therefore, we don't know what is future. We need to calculate that A, they have given 79,000, correct, per year. And N will be is equal to what? 20 years. And R is equal to 18 percentage, which can be converted as 0 0.18 after dividing throughout by 100. Now, we know that F will be is equal to A into 1 plus R whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by r. Now let us substitute the values here which will be is equal to 79,000 into 1 plus 0 0.18 whole to the power of 20 minus 1 divided by 0 0.18. So after doing the calculation of the inside bracket you are going to get the answer is your 1.18 whole to the power of 20 minus 1 divided by 0 0.18. After doing calculation here 1.18 to the power of 20 is 79,000 into here 27.3930. Minus 1 divided by 0 0.18. Now this will be is equal to 79,000 into 26.3930. Why? Because we are doing minus 1 divided by 0 0.18. After doing this calculation in a calculator, we are going to get the answer 1 crore 15 lakh 83,609.63. .63. So this much he is going to get the amount in the future when he is going to invest 79,000 per year of a 18% as interest per annum. I hope you got this one. We'll move on to the next problem. Yes, Sukanya made a LIC policy of 12 years. If the annual premium is 2,000, how much will she get when policy matures after 12 years if the interest rate is 13 percentage? So for 12 years, she is going to make what is that LIC premium? See here, Sukanya made LIC policy for 12 years means we know that N will be is equal to 12 years. And then if the annual premium is 2000, annual premium means A will be is equals to 2000. So after what is that rate of interest as R is equal to 13 percentage which can be converted as 0 0.13 after dividing by 100. Now she get when policy matured after 12 years means future value we need to calculate. We know the formula is given by F will be is equal to A into 1 plus R whole to the power of N minus 1 divided by R. So, substituting the values, F will be is equal to 2000 into 1 plus R is 0 0.13 whole to the power of N is 12 years minus 1 divided by 0 0.13. Now, which will be is equal to 2000 into, after calculating that you are going to get the answer. So, let me add this one that is 1 point. 1, 3 whole to the power of 12 minus 1 divided by 0 0.13. So you are going to get the answer is 2000 into this will be 4.3345 minus 1 divided by 0 0.13 which will be is equal to 2000 into 3.3345 divided by 0 0.13. So after calculating this, you are going to get the answer will be equal to 51,300. 
So this much Sukanya will be getting after 12 years if she is going to deposit a 2000 as annuity immediate and then having an interest of 0.13 or 13%. I hope you got this one. We'll move on to the next problem dears. In how many years the annuity of 100 amounts to 3137.12 and 4.5% per annum compound interest. They have asked you to have a compound interest. So you need to remember the formula of a simple interest compound interest chapter. So I'm going to write the formula. No need to go through the whole chapter. I'm writing here the formula. If you remember that is enough. What they have asked the question, in how many years an annuity of 100 amounts to rupees 3137.12 and 4.5% per annum as compound interest. So here we need to calculate what in how many years. Years means we need to calculate the N, right? So therefore N must be calculated given A will be is equals to 100. And future value that is F is equal to 3137.12 and R is equal to 4.5 percentage. Okay. Therefore, so R is equal to 4.5 percentage which can be converted as 0 0.045 dividing by 100. Now, you can have the formula F is equal to A into 1 plus R whole to the power of N minus 1 divided by R. So, by substituting here, F is nothing but 3137.12 which will be is equal to A is 100 into 1 plus R is nothing but 0 0.045 whole to the power of n we don't know minus 1 divided by r is 0 0.045. Now here cross multiplication 3137.12 into 0 0.045 divided by c you can have 100 which will be is equal to 1 plus this is 1.045 whole to the power of n minus 1. Already we have cross multiplied here. So minus 1 bring to this side. What happens? 1.045 whole to the power of n will be is equal to 3137.12 into 0 0.045 divided by 100 plus 1. Now calculating this 3137.12 into 0 0.045 plus 100 divided by 100 which is 1.045 whole to the power of n. So after doing this calculation you are going to get the answer is 2.4117. So left hand side you are having 1.4. 045 whole to the power of n. Now I want n means what I should do applying log on both the side according to logarithms. So by applying log on both the side you are getting log of 1.045 whole to the power of n is equal to log of 2.4117. Now this is in the form of log m power n. Log m power n is given by the formula n log m. m replaces 1.045 n replaces as it is. So n into log of 1.045 is equal to log of 2.4117. So here n will be is equal to log of 2.4117 divided by log of 1.045. Now seeing in the log table how without taking the decimal to the consideration log at 24th column you are going to have first row. 1 is the mean difference. Here also you are going to see 10th row, 4th column, 5th is the mean difference. By seeing that we are going to get the value will be equal to after seeing in the table 0 0.3823 
डिवाइडेड बाय लॉग ऑफ 1.045 यू आर गोइंग टू गेट 0.0191 सो आफ्टर अगेन डूइंग द कैलकुलेशन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट 20 इयर्स ओके सो देयरफॉर she has to be invested rupees 100 to get 3137.12 for 20 years. I hope you got this one. We'll move on to the next problem, dears. Vani decided to save 10,000 every six months for next five years and deposit it in a bank which offers 7% per annum as an interest. Compounded half yearly. This is very important. Now, how much will Vani have in her account after 5 years? So, after 5 years means N will be is equal to 5 years. When they have given compounded half a yearly, you need to take multiply N with 2 and divide R by 2. Because half a yearly means in a year you are going to have two times of that one. So therefore multiply the years by two and the rate of interest divided by two. So here we are going to have Vani decides to save rupees 10,000 every six months means A is equals to 10,000. And then you are going to have N will be is equal to 5 into 2 which is 10 years. As already told you here half a year limits you should multiply by 10 then R is equal to 7% means we can calculate R will be is equal to after dividing by 100 0.07 again you need to divide throughout by 2 correct so and then a future value you need to calculate right so this is what they have asked you to do now after doing this one you are going to get R value is equal to 0.035 after doing this calculation. Now, let me take the formula is given by F will be is equal to A into 1 plus R whole to the power of N minus 1 divided by R. So, A is nothing but 10,000 and 1 plus R is 0 0.035 and N is 10 minus 1 divided by 0 0.035. So here 10,000 into 1.035 whole to the power of 10 minus 1 divided by 0 0.035. After doing all this calculation, you are going to get 1,17,313.3. So this much she is going to get after 10 years when she is going to save a rupees 10,000 every six months. I hope you got this one. We'll move on to the next problem, dears. Romeo aged 40 wishes his wife Juliet to have 40 lakhs at his death. If the expectation of his life is another 30 years and he starts making equal annual investments at 8% per annum, compound interest computed semi-annually. Semi-annually means half. Okay. How much should Romeo invest every year in an annuity? We need to calculate now for, for the for compound interest by having a formula. As the effective rate of interest, R will be is equal to 1 plus capital letter R divided by Q whole to the power of Q minus 1. This is what the formula to calculate the effective rate of interest when the compound interest is given. Okay. Therefore, here they have given equal annually investment of 8% per annum compound interest. So 8% per annum means here they have given capital letter R is equal to 8% which will be divided throughout by 100. You are going to get 0 0.08 and Q they have given what is it semi-annually. Semi-annually means you are going to get 2 times in a year. So therefore Q will be is equal to 2. So let me substitute here. You are going to get R will be is equal to which is the effective rate of interest. So effective rate of interest will be taken what? After 30 years. That means he is going to save for how much? 
Yes, expected 40 lakhs. That is a future value, right? So let me calculate this R, taking that R to calculate the annuity. That means annuity immediate. So 1 plus R is 0 0.08 divided by 2 whole to the power of 2 minus 1, which will be is equal to. After doing this calculation, you are going to get 1.0816 minus 1, which will be equal to 0. 0816. This is what we want. Now, what he has have now, Julia should have in the future 40 lakhs. That means F is equal to 40 lakhs. And then, how much rate of interest R will be is equal to 0 0.0816. And then we don't know annuity is what? How many years after 30 years? So, n will be is equal to 30. Correct? Now, let me take the formula again. Now, f will be is equal to a into 1 plus r whole to the power of n minus 1 divided by r. Substituting in this, f is 40 lakh. Now, a we don't know. We need to calculate that only. 1 plus r is 0. 0816 whole to the power of 30 minus 1 divided by 0 0.0816 just cross multiply 40 lakh into 0 0.0816 divided by this is 1.0816 whole to the power of 30 minus 1 which will be is equal to a you are going to get the answer will be is equal to a is 34287.05 so this much he has to save every year that is 34287.05 to get 40 lakhs after 30 years I hope you understood how to calculate the annuity immediate, how to calculate the number of years if they ask in this session. So in the next session, dear students, we'll be moving on to uh, another topic of the annuity. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you. Have a nice day.